If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you we to all lead can make this a city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Yeah, You're we're all a bunch here. of geese. Yeah. No, it's true. Bunch the of Wayne peacocks. The yeah. are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. <laughs> Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, okay, calm down, Colonel seems Sanders. you're getting cranky in yours. There's <laughs> always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, huh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly <laughs> spend every penny he has to fix this city. You're just mad I, I got my youth, you old man. Uh, don't worry, though. <laughs> I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man anything. had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. It was a tragedy, truly. And I will fight from City Hall to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... <laughs> Is that blood? Yeah. It Maybe like... it's lipstick. Uh, actually, it's uh, it's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one <laughs> personally, sir. Okay, Alfred. Oh. Carmine Falcone. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. <laughs> Excuse us, Miss Vale. Way to kiss up there, uh, Harvey. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that I don't talk enough to the press. To get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Sure it is, Harvey. At least hear him out before you kick him out. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. I'll play nice, I'll break his jaw. <laughs> you know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. 
though the decor offends my eyes. Oh man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Hmm. Look out, bald head! You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising <laughs> triple what Mayor Hill had... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. I'm sorry, Harvey. It's nothing. I got a personal Christ. vendetta with this dude. <sighs> yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I know about a broken back. I ain't Being broke my about back. politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So. Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. We talking dirty money. I'll find you. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. <laughs> nope, money just doing money. it for Harvey. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And look where it got him. He's dead. And which to break. Don't talk about Don't my you father. Dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Well, I just Not did. For long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's And sorry, you have a little dick. Ah! <laughs>